Hi and welcome Temple Emmanuel. My name is Ariella Halevi and I'm honored to be here to teach you a series of yoga, yoga classes. Um, so I'm very excited to be here and really I just want to introduce you to a different way to experience Judaism. Um, we are embodied people and we experience the world with our not just our minds but our bodies, our hearts, our spirits. And so the introduction or the invitation here is to experience Judaism with not just your mind and not just our stomachs on Passover, but with our hearts and our minds, our bodies, our spirits, all of it. Um, so this is a great way to introduce our topic over the next few weeks, which will be counting the Omer. Counting the Omer is, is a, uh, an experience that we do, a literal counting of the 49 days between Passover and Shavuot when we receive the Torah. And so what we're going to do is explore the energy and the movement of the counting of the Omer. If you don't know about counting the Omer, I'll just do a brief explanation then we'll go into our yoga class. Um, so counting the Omer is based on the spherot in the body. The body, if you've heard of chakras, the body has energy centers or qualities about the, each center in our body that we're going to explore. So every week is a different, in Hebrew we say midot or midah, every week is a different quality that we're going to meditate and move upon. And then, so this week, the, the um, study of chesed. So we're going to explore this idea of chesed, which is loving kindness, which is to love. And then next week, we'll explore a different attribute. Um, this is an invitation to experience Judaism with your body, with your soul and your spirit. So I'm so excited for those of you that have tuned in to join us as we move through the quality of chesed this morning, as we really explore what's inside of us in terms of um, love and an exploration of love. So let's begin. Um, before we start, I will say that just the first pose, we're going to use either a scarf or a sweatshirt or a blanket or a strap. If you don't have anything, that's totally fine, but I just wanted to prepare you um, for just one pose. So closing your eyes, getting comfortable wherever you are. You can always do yoga in a chair. Yoga is really about the breath. Let's close our eyes and start that breath. Take a deep breath in. And a long, long exhale out. And another deep inhale, just allowing the breath to travel as it exhale, as you exhale all the way down through your toes. And as you breathe on your own, inhaling and exhaling, begin to create an intention, a kavanah for yourself this morning on opening to love. Loving kindness is not about being kind and nice. However, it is about opening your heart to others, to yourself. And it's the experience of love. And so for a moment, I invite you to take your hand to your heart and notice your beating heart and find a sense of gratitude for the fact that your heart is beating and begin to explore the region of your heart center, asking yourself, how do I love? How do I show others my love? And how do I show myself the experience of loving myself? Hillel says, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? And he also says, if I am only for myself, then what am I? And so as we begin our yoga practice with this intention, this kavana of dropping the armor surrounding our hearts and opening our hearts fully 
to first and foremost, loving ourselves, experiencing ourselves with love, through love, and then experiencing others, the stranger, our most treasured loved one, and everything in between with love. So taking a deep breath in and a long breath out and just preparing to open ourselves to more and more love as we experience yoga and the movement of our bodies. So I'll invite you to take that whatever you have, whatever's handy in your bedroom, on your floor somewhere, whatever you have. And again, if you don't have anything, that's fine. We're going to lie down. If you're in a chair, you can just start stretching out your right leg and reaching towards that right leg. We're gonna stretch out our hamstrings, which I've heard and I've experienced seem to be very tight during this time of pandemic. So hopefully you can see my whole body. If not, I'll talk you through it. You're going to take your right leg up. Some of us will like our left leg on the floor. If you have any back issues, you'll leave your left knee bent. You can hold on to the back of your thigh or your shin, or you can take whatever you have and place it around the right foot. So this is gonna give you a nice stretch and opening in the hamstrings. Take a deep breath in and see if you can experience as you close your eyes, if you can experience a patience and a kindness and a presence within yourself to really taste love. Breathe in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in, feeling the hamstrings open, noticing what happens to your heart when you slow down. And then exhale, you can place the strap or whatever you have in your hand, in your right hand, and we're going to take our right leg to the right. So some of us are gonna bend our knee here. If you're in a chair, just take your right leg over to the right a little bit. If you don't have anything, you can still hold on to your foot, your leg, or just let it go. So decide how far your body wants to go by taking your hand, your left hand to your left hip, and noticing if there's a lift in your left hip, you wanna come back a little bit. Breathe here, we're just opening the lower body so we can move a little bit more. Inhale into your heart center. And just asking yourself, what armor needs to be dropped? What walls have we created inside of our hearts to distance ourselves from love. Take a deep breath and listen to the sound of your heart, inhaling and exhaling, listening to the message. And then coming back to center, taking the strap in your left hand, taking the, the right hand over, the sorry, the right leg over to the left. My right hand will come out over to the right a spinal twist. If your low back says no, just take both legs, knees bent over to the left. Remembering that yoga is about your body. So if something that is, if I'm doing something that hurts your body, please back off and be gentle. Take a deep breath in, feel the gentle heart. Feel the gentleness, the love, and then slowly coming back to center, let's switch sides. So the right leg comes down either bent or long and the left leg comes around the strap. So feeling that foot flex, it's just an automatic flexion and just breathe into the hamstring. And as you breathe and feel possibly the tightness, I can feel that tightness. I'm going to invite you to ask yourself, if there were tightness in your heart center, what emotion 
would be here. Sadness, fear, anxiety, rage, terror, all of those quote unquote bad feelings, allow them to arise. That is the armor that blocks us from true chesed. Breathing here, taking that strap in your left hand or just allow your foot to fall wherever it lands. Take a deep breath in and feel your body begin to open. A deep inhale and a long exhale. Another deep inhale and exhale. Slowly take the strap in your right hand coming over to a spinal twist. So for my body today, it doesn't want to come all the way over. So I'm either going to leave my foot here and just come into a gentle spinal twist, or I'm going to take the strap off and take both legs over to the right, looking out over the left side. Breathing here, be with your body. And a long exhale out. Another deep inhale. And then exhaling, slowly turning over onto your right side. And I'm going to invite you to come all the way up and come onto all fours. So all fours here, we're gonna come into some cat cows to really open the heart center. So we'll inhale and round the spine, letting the head drop. And exhale. Opening the heart center, opening the body. Another deep breath in, dropping the head. Let the head go, let the mind go. Exhale, opening. One more time, inhale, rounding. Exhale, opening. And then let's take our knees wide, toes touching for some big hip rolls. So I'm going to invite you to move any way you want. You can come all the way down towards your heels and all around. Where, how and where does your body want to move? What is the flow or the tightness of your body right now? Taking a deep breath, listening to the creaks and the cracks and then switching sides when you're ready, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. Another deep breath in. Exhale, shifting our hearts into child's pose. So in extended child's pose, we leave our knees wide, reaching out, opening our hearts to the ultimate heart opening pose, the forehead, if it reaches on the mat, you can always take your fists and put them onto your forehead. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Coming down, staying here while I read just a little poem. A deep breath in and deep within each person we find the heart. Everywhere around, you find the heart. Deep within ourselves, we find the heart. Every time we touch, we touch the heart. So with that kavanah, that intention, I invite you to come back to all fours and then curl your toes under for your first downward facing dog. If you're in a chair, you can go to the back of your chair, taking your hands to the chair and reaching your body back as far as it can go or wants to go. So maybe if you're in your dog, we walk our dog out left and right, taking our heels down, stretching out our whole body, feeling the 10 fingers spread out wide like a starfish in the sea. Taking a long, deep breath in Exhale, feeling your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out and then bend the knees looking forward and walking or floating to the front of our mats. 
On your inhale, hands can come to the shins. So we're going to create a flat back here, engaging the core, reaching the heart out towards the front of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees as much as you need for a forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reverse your swan dive, reaching the hands all the way up and out. And exhale, flowing right back down, all the way down. I have trees in my way. So a forward fold, as far as your body wants to go. Bend those knees a lot. In fact, let's bend the knees. And straighten. And bend the knees. And straighten. And then inhale, flat back, hands come to the shins. Exhale, taking the hands on the mat, coming into a high plank pose here. You can be on all fours. Take a deep breath right here in the center of your heart. Feel your body in one long line. So really play with it. If you feel like you're sinking down, just rise up slightly, engage your core, engage your thighs, taking a deep breath in, Exhale, downward facing dog, and just breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Looking forward, let's take our right foot forward. Our back heel is going to square 45 degrees in. And then lifting up to warrior one. So my hips are gently going to come forward and then reaching our hearts up to warrior one. Feel your body in this pose. It's a little awkward because we really want to face the side. So feel how your body feels in this pose. Release the shoulder blades. Open maybe the hands up wide. Open your heart as wide as the world. Imagine the front of your back, sorry, the front of your body and the back body and the whole heart opening wide. And then exhale, taking the hands behind you, clasping the hands open and opening the shoulder blades just a little bit more for a deeper sensation. Take a nice long inhale, feel your 10 toes on the mat. Exhale, staying right where you are or humbled warrior as we bow our hearts to the inside of the right thigh and take our hands to the sky. Take a deep breath in. If you're in a chair, you're just going to bend your right knee and let your left leg go long. You can take your hands up to the sky or at your heart. Take a deep breath here and a long breath out. Another deep breath in and then exhale, letting your hands drop. Let's take our hands to the inside of the right leg. So I'm going to scoop my toes over towards the side of my mat to give my hands more room. I'm going to take my left heel up and place the left knee on the floor, my toes on the floor for a nice opening in the hips. So it's our first hip opener. I'm going to invite you to play with this pose. Some of us maybe will take our foot, our right foot to the side of the foot and some of us will stay right here. So my body is telling me to stay right here today. If you feel comfortable, you can come on to your, on, right here onto your forearms. My body says here. So tuning into what your heart needs today and what your body needs today. And take a deep breath. If you're in a chair, you just take your right leg over, your right foot over your left. Placing your right foot on your left thigh and giving it a nice stretch. Inhale and exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly coming back. So those toes come back. We're gonna take the foot on the inside of the right hand. I'm going to lift my right knee up. So take a deep breath here. You're in low crescent lunge. And then exhale. Let's take our right foot to meet our left in a high plank. You can be right here on your knees. Taking a deep breath here, we're going to, to come into um, side angle pose. So side plank, but a version of it. 
You're going to take your right knee on the ground and take your right toes out like a kickstand. Our right hand comes into the middle of the mat and we're turning and lifting our left hand to the sky. So set up your base here. My left toes are on the floor, my right toes are very stable. Feel your body in this pose. Inhale, we're gonna come into gate pose. So you really wanna stabilize that left foot. As we inhale, we lift up. Left hand comes on my th left thigh, right hand lifts. So we'll do a little flow. Take a deep breath here, stabilize your base as we open our heart. Exhale, coming down, left hand lifts. Perhaps for a deeper sensation, you begin to lift the left thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming all the way up, gate pose. This is a pose for balance inside of your core. Inhale deeply. Exhale down. Maybe you lift up, maybe not. Take a deep breath, open your heart center, breathe into it. Exhale, last time. All the way up, reaching up. And exhale, coming back down, lifting the leg if you'd like. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, back to all fours. Staying here or curling our toes under, downward facing dog. Facing dog. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, just take an inventory. How does your body feel now versus when we started? How are you embodying the idea of chesed? How can we be more vulnerable to those that we love and each other and ourselves? Take a deep breath in as we meditate upon this, looking forward Left foot forward, back foot squares 45 degrees in. Set up your base first, then lifting up, warrior one on the left side. So again, those hips really want to swivel forward to the side, but we're going to just gently swivel them to the front. Reaching our hands up to the sky. I like to make my hands really wide as if I'm just opening my heart to the entire world with love, with boundaries, with compassion, with honor. Take a deep breath in and honor yourself. And then exhale, clasping the hands behind us. If you're in a chair, this time your left leg is bent and your right leg goes long. And you can just take your hands to your heart or up to the sky. Take a deep breath here. Feel the heart opening. And then exhale, staying here, or coming all the way down to Humbled Warrior. Feel your base. So if you feel a little wobbly, that's okay. Just take your toes, take them into the ground. Imagine the earth has roots from your feet all the way to the ground. Take a nice deep breath in. And a long breath out. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. So let's take our hands on the inside of the left foot. My back heel will come up. My left foot, we're gonna take our left foot and bring it to the side. So the, the foot is on its side. Here's our nice opening in our hips. The right knee comes down, the toes on the floor, and begin to play with where your body needs to go. If you come to your forearms, go for it. Really be loving with your body. Our bodies have been through so much. Just this idea of Passover, and if you really tap into the spiritual meaning of Passover, it's really about freeing yourself of all this, the tightness and the ways we confine ourselves. And add that to this pandemic. And our bodies just need compassion and love, and rest, and movement, the combination. Take a long, deep breath in, and a long exhale out. Take another deep breath in. 
Exhale, slowly bringing the left toes back, taking the left hand on the outside of the left foot. We're going to come into high plank pose again. So the left foot will meet the right or you're on all fours. So just holding it here for a moment, feeling your strength, finding the open heartedness in the pose as we breathe deeply. And then exhale, taking the left knee to the floor, the left toes out like a kickstand. My left hand is in the middle of the mat. As I'm not facing you, but we'll go through it, my right hand comes to the sky. If you feel a little wobbly, just really center your toes. Feel where your toes need to go to stabilize the pose. And then we'll come into gate pose. So we'll inhale, reaching the left hand up to the sky, right hand comes down. And exhale, left hand comes down, maybe you stay here, or begin to play with lifting the right leg up. Deep breath, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, coming back to center. One more time, inhale, reaching up, opening our hearts. And exhale, back to center, coming back up if you'd like, coming back down, and then we'll all head into child's pose. Let's, um, child's pose, let's take our knees together, taking your hips to your heels, and I like to take my hands to the back of my feet, towards my feet, and then rest the head. Feeling curled up in a ball. Notice and breathe into your heart center. Begin to open, even in this tight little ball, sometimes we feel safer here. Begin to ask again, if there were emotions that were blocking us from true intimacy, love, and taking the action of love to experience love, if there were an emotion here or a memory when you first closed your heart, I am going to invite you to just bring that up now. Take a deep breath in and find compassion for that emotion for yourself and all that we have gone through during this time and beyond. Find a sense of just gentleness Take another deep breath in and then exhale. Coming back to center all fours, curling our toes, reaching up to downward facing dog as if we were just renewed, as if our heart just opened and released that emotion. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the hips and walk or float to the front of our mats. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins. Exhale, bend the knees if you need, forward fold. And then slowly rolling up to stand one vertebrae at a time. And coming to Tadasana, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in. So I'm going to come to the front of my video for just a moment because there seems to be something blocking. Hopefully you don't see it. So let's come in to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a deep breath here, closing the eyes, and a long breath out, feeling your beautiful heart shining forward, shining open. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to invite you to come into standing poses with me. So right now we'll go into a standing pose. Um, we're going to go and do, we're gonna come into dancer's pose. I'm gonna give you some variations for dancer's pose. So dancer's pose, you can use a wall or a chair. I really love the wall. Um, we're going to lift our left hand to the sky. Maybe I'm gonna face this way. Our right hand is going to come out like a hitchhiker. 
we're gonna hold on to the instep of our right foot. So notice how my right foot is way out here to the right. We wanna bring our body back into alignment first and foremost. I like to flex my right toes. Many of us will stay right here. This is a beautiful heart opening pose. Again, the wall is here or chair. As you begin to play with coming slightly forward. So it's not going down, We're, our bodies aren't going down. We're actually making like a U or a W with our bodies, lifting up both halves of the body. Breathing here, opening the heart center. One more breath and exhale, slowly, slowly coming down. Shaking it out and switching sides. So this time our right hand lifts to the sky or holding onto the wall. Our left hand comes out like a kickstand or a hitchhiker. Um, taking the instep of your left foot, bringing it back into alignment, feeling the openness already in your heart, and then deciding how far your body wants to go. You choose. Reaching up, reaching out, opening, experiencing. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, coming back to center. Beautiful. Shaking it all out. And let's come to the floor for a moment. So we'll do just about two poses on the floor, and then we'll head into a Shavasana meditation. So I'm going to invite you to do another heart opening. We're gonna take our right leg kind of diagonal and our left leg is coming into our body. Our left hand comes to the back of our body and the right hand lifts. Some of us will stay here. You can do this on your chair by taking your left foot over your right thigh. Staying here or perhaps lifting our body up for a little baby back bend. Opening our heart center taking a deep breath in and a long breath out another deep breath in and a long breath out engaging the core muscles will protect your back in this pose take a deep breath in feel your right toes on the floor and then exhale release the pose Let's switch sides when we're ready. So the right leg comes in, the left leg comes out. Notice how you feel on each side of your body. Centering yourself first, taking the right hand in back of you and the left hand reaches up. If this is where we stop, this is a great way to, this is a great pose. Or perhaps we lift our bodies up and back for a mini back bend. Take another deep breath and a long breath out. Inhale and exhale. Another deep breath in and exhale down. So I'm first gonna invite, before we go to the floor, let's take our knees together, our toes touching, and just kind of shake out that low back. So windshield wiper your knees and your legs left and right. And breathe, opening, and then we'll come to our backs. So we'll come into a bridge, oh, we already did a, um, let's come into figure four. So let's stretch our hips out one more time, and then we'll head into Shavasana. Taking your right leg over your left thigh, Bringing your knees into your chest and holding on to the back of your left thigh. So my feet are flexed. You can straighten the left leg for a deeper sensation or you can bend the knee. You decide what gives you that best stretch. I'll invite you to close your eyes as you come into this deeper sense of relaxation. A deeper sense of your heart and chesed. Taking a deep look into your heart center. Begin to notice the centers in your heart that need healing. 
The heart is the greatest healer because it is the center of love. Love is the ultimate healer. Let's switch sides when you're ready. So right knee up, left leg goes over to the right. You can stay right here or you can bring your knees into your chest and hold on to the back of your left thigh. Breathing here. And a long breath out. Inhale deeply. Often it's easier to love others than to love ourselves. And so I invite you to come into this embodied practice to experience a sense of love for your body, for the soul that has been placed inside of our bodies during this time on earth, for the wondrous ways that our bodies move and in some ways don't move, for the ways and the love that we have for ourselves when we are human. So take a deep breath and breathe into your humanness and come in and bring our knees to our chest for just a little squeeze. And then come into your Shavasana. Shavasana is an option of lying down or sitting in your chair or coming to a comfortable seated position. For this meditation, I'll come up and, and come into a seated position. But closing your eyes and deciding where you'd like to be. As we embark on this distant socializing, as Rabbi Black likes to say, I invite you to just be present with where you are in your chesed right now. Some of us feel isolated. Others feel overwhelmed. Some of us are ill. Some of us need a little bit more love than usual. Breathing in to wherever you feel you are right now. And imagine that your heart center being filled with love, pumping out blood, Releasing and inhaling and releasing and doing its magical, beautiful thing that it does. Oxygenating cells and moving muscles and keeping us alive. Just imagine that you can feel that in your heart center now. And imagine that the veins and arteries coming out of our heart center is coming down into the earth as if your heart had roots. Imagine these beautiful, beautiful roots coming down all the way into the earth. As if your body from your heart below were a tree trunk with roots into the earth. And inside of your beautiful heart, our beautiful branches, beautiful leaves growing outside from the branches, and finally beautiful flowers blooming with love to spread. And as you picture your heart opening with these beautiful flowers, perhaps you begin to notice a bird resting itself on one of your branches of your heart. And this bird is quite magical because it sends your deepest heart longing to the divine, to God herself. And so imagine this beautiful bird turning to you and asking you, what is your deepest prayer? What is your greatest wish? Just 
speaking to that bird now if you'd like. And let the bird take in all of your prayers and your wishes. And imagine the bird leaving your tree, leaving your branches and the beautiful flowers and just flying away, taking your prayers and your wishes to the divine, to source itself, to God. And perhaps taking your hand to your heart center, feeling a sense of your heart opening wide and beautiful just the way you are. Trusting that your prayer and your wish will get to the highest divine source of all. I invite you to wiggle your toes and your fingers and slowly begin to bring your knees into your chest. And turning over onto your right side, curled up in a fetal position. I invite you to stay where you are or join me in a comfortable seated position. Perhaps for today, as we end, you take your hands to your heart center and feel your beating heart. And we'll end our yoga practice with Ose Shalom, bringing peace from our heart centers and allowing it to travel to all those in need, all people who need peace and love. Oh, say shalom in Rama. Huya say shalom aleinu. They all call Yisrael. They imru, imru, amen. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom. Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Taking our hands to the center of our forehead, our divine intuition. Shalom, may peace be with you. And may you find that your week ahead is full of light and love and heart. I will see you next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for more yoga. So enjoy your day and enjoy Shabbat. Chag Sameach.